In this lesson, we'll talk about the derivatives of inverse trigonometry functions. But before looking into the derivatives, let's just do a quick review on inverse trigonometry functions. What are they? Well, I'm going to use a simple example to help you refresh your memory. Then you will find out that you've actually been working with these guys for many, many years in high school math without realizing it. Okay, so the question asks us to solve an unknown angle in a right angle triangle. So the first thing we have to determine is, out of three primary trigonometry functions, which one should we use? When dealing with trigonometry, I always like to write down the most famous phrase in the world of trigonometry. It's called, you got it, Sokatoa, right? So, ka. See, this phrase can help us determine whether we should use sine, cosine, or tangent to solve a right angle triangle. In this triangle, we are given the length of two sides. Now, this side with the length of four is considered as the opposite side, right? It's the side opposite the angle theta. So let's write it out. Opposite. Now, this side with a length of 3 is considered as the adjacent side to the angle theta. Right? Adjacent means neighbor, right? So theta, angle theta is right here. The neighbor guy is this guy. Adjacent. Adjacent. Now, even opposite O and adjacent. Given O and A, which trigonometry function should we use? Given O and A. That would be this guy, right? Given O and A, we should use tangent function to help us solve for the unknown angle here. Okay? So let's write out. So we should use tangent function. And what's tangent? Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So it's opposite over adjacent. And in this triangle, the opposite is 4. The adjacent is 3. Now, to solve for the angle theta, we will simply move the tangent function to the other side of the equation. But now, we don't write tangent anymore. Instead, we write tangent with a negative 1 up top, right? Of which value? Of this value, 4 over 3. Easy. So now, let's take our, our calculator. Good. And we just have to type in tangent negative 1 of 4 over 3. So tangent negative 1 right here. So Tangent negative 1 of 4 divided by 3. 4 over 3 is equal to 53 degree. So just like that, the calculator helps us find the angle theta to be 53 degree. See, questions like this, where we are asked to solve an angle in a right angle triangle. We've done tons and tons of practice in various math courses over the years. They are so natural to us, almost like breathing. We do it without thinking how we are doing it. Now, it's obvious that we are using a trigonometry function to help us solve for an angle in this question. And the trigonometry function we used was the tangent function. Now, here's a question for you. Are inverse trigonometry functions involved anywhere in the equations here? Anywhere. Did you find it? Yeah, it is right here. This guy. This guy is an inverse tangent function. See, whenever you bring a trigonometry function from one side of the equation to the other side, that trigonometry function will instantly become the inverse trigonometry function. 
So in this case, we brought a tangent function to the other side of the equation. That tangent function instantly became an inverse tangent function. Right? Pretty cool stuff. So let's make a quick, a quick conclusion here. Say we have an expression y is equal to sine x. Okay? Now, because let's say today I want to solve the equation for x. Well, then what do we have to do? We have to somehow move this sine function to the other side of the equation. So if we move this sine function to the other side of the equation, that sine function will instantly become the inverse sine function, right? Now, guys, what if today I want you to bring the inverse sine function to the other side of the equation? Now, that inverse sine function will instantly become what? Just a regular sine, right? You get the idea here? Yeah. A regular trigonometry function goes to the other side, becomes the inverse trigonometry function. The inverse trigonometry function goes to the other side, becomes a regular trigonometry function. Pretty cool stuff, right? Cool. So I want you to bring this idea with you to our next question here.